Hello and welcome to our new training video. In this video I want to show you how to use the validation button of NCP111. At first I want to explain to you the functionality of the validation button of NCP111. We would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. The validation button is the button on the first place of the CP111. With the validation buttons you have several commands. The first command is acknowledging an error and exiting the error status. The second one is deleting a configuration, for example a program, from the safety CPU. And the third one would be validating the safety system configuration. For all these commands there are several button presses. So for each button press you can activate an LED. So in our case we have three LEDs, LED C1, LED C2 and LED C3. With the first command, which is the quit error command, you need one button press, which activates the LED C1. With the clear configuration, we have two button presses, which activates LED C1 and LED C2. And with the set verified command, we have three button presses for LED C1, LED C2 and LED C3. In the next step, I will explain to you how pressing the button works in detail. At first I want to explain the quit error sequence to you. So you press the button until LED B lights. After this you press the button again until C1 lights. After this you do the end sequence, so you press the button until LED B blinks one time. Then you can release the button and the error is quit. The next command is to clear the program from the CP111. So again, you press the button until LED B lights. After this, you press the button again for C1. Then you press it again for C2. And then you do the end sequence where you press the button as long as LED B blinks. It blinks two times, then you can release the button and then the program is cleared from the CP111. Then I want to explain the last command, the set verified command to you. So the first thing you do is you press the button until LED B lights. When LED B lights, you press the button again until C1 lights. Then you do it again for C2 and again for C3. And then you go for the end sequence, which is pressing the button as long as B1 blinks. So for the set verified, it blinks three times and then you can release the button and the CP111 will be verified. Thank you for watching our training videos. If you want to see more about the training videos, you can just click on the link in the outro.